गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल शो करंट अफेयर्स इन दिस शो वी टॉक अबाउट करंट अफेयर्स ऑफ द इंडस्ट्री फूड इंडस्ट्री स्पेशली सिंस वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन फूड इंडस्ट्री दिस इज द फर्स्ट एंड ओनली न्यूज चैनल राइट नाउ ऑन यूट्यूब ऑन फूड इंडस्ट्री वी हैव टू वेरी एनर्जेटिक एंड यंग फेलोज विद अस इन दिस पैनल राइट नाउ विद मी शैशव मित्तल डायरेक्टर ऑफ लवली Uh, Baker Studio and uh, a lovely group, uh, rather they are into sweets, education, and so many other uh, businesses. We also have uh, Chetanya Mupala, who is the managing director of um, Almond House. Almond House is uh, is the leading brand in Mithai industry in South India and coming up very fast in uh, all over the country. Chetanya is is not only uh, 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 businessman but he's also a guitarist we'll ask him to play that guitar uh, kept behind in the scene later on so uh, guys uh, uh, this uh, in this segment you know we are discussing about the uh, challenges faced uh, due to uh, corona lockdown right now in the industry so i would first ask uh, chatanya the first question uh, how you are coping up with the situation right now kyunki ek 40 45 days ka ek break mila hai और मैं जितना आप लोगों को जानता हूं आप बैठने वाले लोगों में से नहीं है तो डेफिनेटली आप कुछ ना कुछ तो कर ही रहे होंगे ऐसा जो कि आपको आगे हेल्प करेगा या तो ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड यू विल बी टर्निंग दैट टाइड इन योर फेवर तो चैतन्य प्लीज टेल एस हाउ यू आर कॉपिंग अप विद द सिचुएशन एंड यूटिलाइजिंग योर टाइम एट होम और मे बी होम कन्वर्टेड इन ऑफिस मॉर्निंग थैंक्स फॉर हैविंग मई फिरोज It's nice Welcome. to be here with uh, Mr. Shaheshab. We've met briefly a couple of months ago when the world was completely different. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I mean, uh, we kind of uh, for us, we kind of saw this coming because we were watching what was happening happening on the global uh, news space. So somewhere around February, we had created a risk scenario and mitigation plan. we knew it was going to come at some point to india we just didn't know how badly so we you know had a plan where uh, we had different uh, uh, actions for different stakeholders that the customers uh, employees and vendors and partners at different stages of the epidemic at that time it was still epidemic you know it wasn't pandemic right. so we uh, but uh, you know we it didn't really become of much use for us because Uh, we planned it in such a way that we expected the disease to spread in stages of how the epidemic spreads and uh, we thought we'll have a different action plan for each stage and it will go from stage to stage but unfortunately in our country we went from stage 0 to stage 4 overnight so our our planning didn't really help much in fact you know it uh, as per our plan we waited to do some things uh hope thinking that it will happen later but if we had done everything before we would have been in a much better place so regarding employees their safety how they can get home that sort of a thing but uh, soon after lockdown you know uh, we have about uh, 300 or 400 of our own employees who are migrant workers and they're staying in our own company uh, uh, run hostels so first in 10 days to 2 weeks went in setting up Hmm. uh their uh, you know quarantine facility making sure they have food setting up the process that they get their temperature checks twice a day uh we set up zoom call for all 600 of our employees most of these guys are not 10 standard pass also so they they become really adept at zoom and we quickly just realized that they need to be uh, given something to keep them occupied so we set up retail uh, service training for the retail staff and kitchen hygiene training for the kitchen staff all on zoom okay then we try to see that you know our, our view point has been that unless we stay active in some way or the other we don't uh, prepare ourselves to adapt to what might come so in in our state we were slightly disadvantaged because the rules are not clear uh, in the beginning we had swiggy zomato and uh, hyper local deliveries uh, they stopped that in the middle so we were uh, forced to kind of adapt quickly to the changing scenario so we started with swiggy and zomato and we designed non contact sales from our stores that is nobody enters the store 
from outside with social distancing how do we uh, kind of facilitate the sales we started with that in billions of zomato and we quickly built up a tech platform to collect orders for gated communities and apartment buildings etc which was also gaining good traction but uh, you know the uh, lack of clarity from the state government you know we were not sure whether this is legal to do or not so a lot of hurdles on that front okay. but uh, you know our our viewpoint has been we are not doing activity to get profits or real sales these are still less than 3 4% of what we would normally do right. but the goal is really just to stay active keep the machine running so that as the circumstances change we are prepared to change as well right 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 uh, shashav uh, let me come to you uh, yeah. what has been your acti- uh, activities in this period because right. uh, uh, it was not only a testing time but also a preparation time uh, rather right. our exams have delayed a little bit so aapne kis tarike se kiya because uh, you are also uh, into so many verticals of your business so sure. ch- challenges bhi thode different type ke rahe honge aapke sure sure yeah. so i'll take a minute to uh, talk about who we are so currently we employ close to about 1000 people uh, of those about 80 80% 80% is in factory about 2% 20% is in admin and showroom and uh, in total we have eight showrooms now uh, four of bakery and uh, four of sweets plus uh, we have about 40 franchise stores spread across punjab um and uh, currently we're distributing our products in uh, north india and uh, shipping to about 6 uh, 7 countries uh, exporting to 6 7 countries uh in terms of production on any regular day uh before 20th, 20th of march we do about 20 tons 25 tons of sweets of production per day and about 2 tons of uh, uh, biscuits cookies cakes all included so uh so it was a complete shock to us you know uh, starting 21st of march it was a complete shock uh, like everyone so uh, there were few steps that we took uh, immediately the first priority for us was the uh, safety of our employees uh, in which uh, we made sure that each and every staff must be informed uh, what are the uh, guidelines they need to follow ki unko kya kya cheezon ka dhyan dena hai apne routine mein rehne mein khane mein peene mein right secondly uh, we uh, made sure that not only they maintaining social distance uh, only in their area where they living but also jahan par unhone kaam karna hai so we went uh, to their uh, hostels unannounced just to check on ki wo kaise rehte hain and uh, immediately uh, me and my production guy uh, food technologist uh, we went there and we gave them guidelines ki they have to maintain that social distance in the area in which they are living in their hostels right so and uh, we spend almost a day in training them and then making sure that they have the distance maintain next uh, uh, of course ek humne uh, online zoom pe session karaya tha with a, a regular family doctor of ours with all the employees in batches ki unko kya kya cheeze uh, maintain karni hai apne uh, health ke liye hygiene ke liye uh uske sath on the sales side this is the first was the of course the priority for the uh, uh employees the second on the sales side humne uh immediately agar aapki knowledge mein ho hamara ek aur venture hai usko bolte hain lovely wanna buy isme we run a departmental store uh and usme approximately 3000 3500 eskews hain of all the regular grocery items and that store is very very closely uh, you know located in our existing uh, lovely sweets ka showroom to unke sath tie up karke immediately we started a home delivery service uh jisme 85 90% regular grocery items hoti thi aur 10 to 15% hamari bakery products breads rusk aur asara to wo humne immediately service shuru kari teen vehicles lagayi aur apne staff ko uh, store mein bula kar store banta bahar se phone pe orders lekar humne deliveries karne shuru kari so every day we do we used to do for uh, about 80 to 120 delivery, deliveries per day and uh, customers were very happy jo jo customer mere nahi bhi the ya dur ke area se bhi me phone aa rahe the unko bhi hum delivery de rahe the so ek wo bahut acha initiative tha jo logon ne appreciate kara aur sath ke sath i think uh, within uh, within a 10 15 days hame uh, phone aa gaya as a matter of speaking ka that they have resumed their operation in the city and would you like to tie up So immediately we jumped on it and we, uh, we started uh, serving our customers through Zomato and Swiggy. 
एंड इवन टूडे वी डूइंग इट इन टर्म्स ऑफ जो आपने सवाल पूछा कि सर्वाइव कैसे कर रहे हैं तो उसमें हमने एक तो जितने भी हमारे सप्लायर्स हैं उनसे हमने रिक्वेस्ट कर दी दैट वी विल पे देम बट द पेमेंट विल बी लिटिल डिलेड सो वी पे देम 25 30% राइट 100% इज स्टिल लिटिल डिफिकल्ट बट वी विल पे देम पीरियडिकली दिस पे दे ग्रेशियसली एग्रीड ऑन द सेल साइड विद आवर एग्जिस्टिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर्स वी क्लियरली टोल्ड देम दैट वी विल ओनली वर्क ऑन एडवांस टिल द सिचुएशन गेट नॉर्मलाइज्ड बिकॉज or uh, and i'm very glad to tell you most of our distributors supported us uh, they were paying us upfront advance um, and uh, we were delivering them stock so we were sell uh, from i think first week thoda bahut tha when we were not able to sell, uh, run the factory but uh, rus ki factory jo hamari alag se hai independent factory we been running it uh, you know on full capacity uh, because there is shortage of rus in punjab bahar se delhi se nahi aa raha ya jahan jahan banta hai so we running the factory uh, full long कुकीज का जो हमारा प्लांट है वी बिन एबल टू अबाउट फिफ्टी परसेंट कुछ हमारे को एक्सपोर्ट के ऑर्डर आ गए तो उसको हम फुलफिल कर रहे हैं सो वी ट्राइंग टू टैप इन एनी पॉसिबल सोर्स इन विच वी कैन सेल द प्रोडक्ट वी रीच आउट टू ऑल द रिटेलर्स बोथ डोमेस्टिक एज वेल एज ओवरसीज दैट इफ दे वॉन्ट द प्रोडक्ट वी कैन गिव दम गुड रेट्स एंड वी कैन सप्लाई दम प्रोडक्ट्स तो दैट इनिशियटिव स्टार्टेड from the first week itself uh, you know of uh, right. uh, april taki jo bhi sale ho sakti hai hum usko kar sake right right uh, uh, Ch- chatanya uh, apart from uh, in house uh, uh, activities jo aapne ki aur apne logo ko train kiya aapne uh, i think you have been actively connecting with your consumer and your buyers as well uh, aapka ek bahut hi popular video abhi uh, chal raha hai i want to share it on the screen and want to show to shashav also and to our audience ke kis tarike se aapne isko ek 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 naya cheez kiya hai jo ke na sirf sabke liye beneficial hai lekin ek matlab ek interesting cheez bhi ho gayi hai to ye main share kar raha hu i oye idhar niche hey looks like you're craving for me ha huh? maine bhi bahut miss kiya tujhe कैसा है मेरे बिना थोड़ा अधूरा ही रहा होगा हम गारू ना मेरे बिंग पे मनवाड़ी तो पाटू वेब सीरीज चूस्ट क्या वरुण पढ़ाई चल रही है या नहीं या बस गेम्स ही खेलते रहता है अरे पहले हाथ तो धो लो पैरी पौना आंटी जी बहुत दिन हुए आपके घर आके अब थोड़ा खुश है हम आपको भी बातेंगे खुशी specifically uh, did for your uh, uh, customers uh, isse aapko kis tarah ka benefit lagta hai aur aapko uh, because aaj ki tarikh mein shoot karna bhi apne aap mein ek challenge hai so how you came up with the, this idea basically so i mean ironically you know uh, the day uh, evening that they made this video and we put it out the next day this uh, the chief minister banned swiggy and zomato oh. <laughs> so the, it did come to but uh, uh, you know the credit goes to our uh, digital marketing partner in hyderabad the company is called pad uh, the creative director there didn't even tell us you know he gathered a couple of his uh, team members and they all shot it at their own houses with their phones and whatever cameras they had oh. available so they edited it and they showed us the final product so uh, i mean the uh, the credit really goes to the team that's really active there but right. what the strategy for us in terms of communication has been uh, this i think uh, when i was talking to you a few weeks ago i was telling you about this that i had attended a webinar uh, from uh, uh, one of these ivy league uh, universities on crisis management and they were talking about uh, the Uh, creating an analogy between a crisis and uh, a spotlight so they were saying that 
uh, when a business is in crisis, uh, the business is under spotlight. So everybody is looking at you and uh, what you are communicating through words and through actions. So, uh, and it's a limited period of opportunity to communicate uh, because the crisis will end at some point. Everybody is looking at you, how you are behaving under pressure, under the crisis. So we decided that it's important that we communicate with all our stakeholders, whether it's customers, whether it's employees, and whether it's vendors and partners, landlords, etc. Periodic, yeah. frequent, consistent communication with each of them, whether we are selling or not, Right. allows us to remain relevant one and allows people to judge us as to how we are behaving when the world is ending for us. Right. Uh, very nice. Uh, I think Sheshav has also uh, done a lot of uh, uh, activity on this front. Uh, he, I think we, I, uh, you guys are seeing there's a there's yeah. a, a very nice offer going on right now. Uh, we can see this is something very nice you have done in in uh, in your uh, uh, time where you had you know you could have done uh, uh, something for the industry. So this is also a very nice idea where you know we uh, people can. Uh, uh, interact with the with the consumer. So, Sheshav, in sab cheezon ka response kya aaya? Matlab, hum effort dal rahe hain, but actually kuch response turn up ho raha in cheezon se? Bilkul ho raha hai response. Kyunki, jo minne aapko bataya, one by ne, jaisi humne announce kara ki humne, we want to start the home delivery service. So, immediately, our, we, humne teen cha number diye the, aur chaaro ka ikdam se phones aane shuru ho gaye, and we were flooded with calls. Okay. And uh, there were few friends of mine who had my number. They wanted those uh, regular grocery products. They called me immediately that kisi tarah karwa de, mukko bhijwa de saman. And uh, shayad kuch log to mukko phone phone karte bhi nahi the. Unke bhi phone aage ki yar we need the stock. So okay. uh, wo kafi acha uh, initiative tha jiska logon ne baat pasand kara. Okay. And because it was a limited service the initial day, days mein, 25th onwards, very limited service was available, and we were one of the few ones who started. So, बहुत ज़्यादा हमें अच्छा response मिला and uh, still we are continuing it. Every day we are still doing about 70, 80, 100 odd deliveries. So, okay. uh, uh, I think उसका response uh, अभी भी आ रहा है and post lockdown I feel जो customer हमारे साथ जुड़ गए हैं, जिन्होंने चीजें हमारी खा ली हैं, रस, biscuits, cookies. I hope uh, they stick around and uh, stay our customer. एक एक question शशब आपसे ही मुझे दोबारा पूछना है. Okay, globally, if you can see, where our reach is in the food industry and export products, where there is no reach, if you can see, there is a shortage of labor across the world. And there is no labor shortage in Punjab or UP. There is no shortage in Spain, which has come from North Africa, or from Spain to East Europe. I mean, they have changed the continents or the countries. तो आपको लगता है कि एक नए तरह की डिमांड क्रिएट होगी इस टाइम पे अगर हम गवर्नमेंट की सपोर्ट से अपनी फूड इंडस्ट्री को फुल कैपेसिटी जाके यूज करें और अपने कॉन्टैक्ट्स को यूज करें तो एक एक अच्छी अपॉर्चुनिटी है इंडियन फूड प्रोसेसिंग इंडस्ट्री के लिए ओवरऑल आपने आपने ये बड़ा अच्छा सवाल पूछा क्योंकि मैंने इसके बारे में बात करनी थी एंड में एक्चुअली जितनी भी यूरोपियन कंट्रीज हैं या अमेरिकन कंट्रीज में प्रोडक्शन होती है so usually their food cost is a little bit more, labor cost is a little bit more, and food cost is a little bit more. So I definitely foresee in the long term that a lot of the production will shift towards Asian, especially India. Especially European plants will shift to Indian and they would be looking for good manufacturers who can make a good quality product in a hygienic environment. So I think not in short term but in long term you will see a lot of uh, high-end innovative products getting manufactured within within India uh, and I think uh, it's a great opportunity for uh, entrepreneurs like us you know to keep keep our eye, eyes open and you know, look for the opportunity right. uh, and grab it right so so kind of a distress buying in, rather than distress selling 
this time we we can observe a distress buying also okay i think thoda inka signal weak ho gaya uh yeah so uh, I, i will come back to my question uh, we we will observe more distress buying rather than distress uh, distress selling uh people will be anxious to buy uh, products not following much of the norms aisa kuch ho raha hai kya uh initially uh, i think kafi uh, uh, holding hui hai stock ki uh, for the first i think uh, in, in week of march and first week of april hmm. but i think now it is slowing down a bit जो पहले लोगों ने ले लिया ले लिया बट देन अगेन आई फील पीपल आर मोर हेल्थ कॉन्शियस नाउ इन जनरल सो दे विल रिस्ट्रिक्ट देयर ईटिंग टू मोर हेल्थी स्टफ बिकॉज दे यूजली आर नाउ एट होम एंड नॉट वर्किंग सो आई थिंक जो इंडल्जेंस कैटेगरी है ऑल द कन्फेक्शनरी और चॉकलेट्स विल सी सम डिक्लाइन रादर हेल्थ हेल्थ फूड और हेल्थ रिलेटेड प्रोडक्ट्स विल सी सम यू नो राइज इन सेल्स in a short term as well as long term okay okay uh, uh chaitanya abhi jis tarike se ek ek pura ek samjho ke ye lockdown jo hai hamare liye ek different kind ka training period bhi hai jahan pe hum hygiene aur ye sab jo social distancing iski ek tarike se hame training mil rahi hai aur and we are following we you know abhi kafi cheeze aisi ho gayi hai ki hum uh, even uh, हमें तो हमें इवन एनिमल्स को भी अब आदत पड़ती जा रही है अकेले रहने की और सुनसान सड़कें देखने की तो व्हाट वुड बी द न्यू नॉर्मल्स फॉर दी फूड इंडस्ट्री स्पेशली व्हेन यू आर फोकसिंग मोस्टली ऑन क्यूएसआर्स मोस्टली ऑन फाइन डाइन एक्टिविटीज तो आप क्या देखते हैं कि किस तरह के न्यू नॉर्मल सेट होंगे इंडस्ट्री के अंदर जिसकी आप अभी से तैयारी कर रहे हैं So I think a lot of us uh, in our industry specifically uh, last uh, four five years में हमने सब experience में invest किए you know we have invested heavily uh, all our capital apart from uh, uh, you know our production facilities and production standards which all of us have been upgrading which will help us now. Uh, our investments on the uh, customer facing side have been heavily on experience this is a interior design uh, retail experience design outlets you know the uh, our focus has all been about creating this experience and suddenly the world has changed and suddenly convenience is uh, outweighing experience safety is outweighing experience so i think there are two sets of uh, changes there are uh, very near term changes which are uh, lockdown immediately post lockdown till the vaccine comes till the disease uh, kind of uh, normalizes till then we will see changes that are focused around keeping customers and employees safe mm -hmm. from the virus because this is not going away anytime soon we will have to figure out how to operate with it around us so these will mean uh, you know how our customer uh, uh, flow is in our stores whether we let them into our stores at all or not whether they come to our stores or we take the product to them these top sort of changes we are going to see immediately now as soon as we are allowed to operate at some scale we are, we'll all quickly adapt to that but i think there will be some lasting and kind of permanent changes uh, in the medium to long term for all industries specifically our fnb industry uh, primarily because now it's in our head you know uh, the way the corona virus has spread has been how we have been catching the cold and getting the flu for the last 100 years also right. but we 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 were so insensitive to it because it was not something that was uh, you know life threatening till now yeah. but now it's in our head that you know uh, Oh, this is one pathogen this is one virus and this is a possibility there can be other viruses and other pathogens like this that we will catch right. so i think there will there will be a permanent change in the way we behave in terms of how we buy things where we buy things and how we take the product home and consume it because you know we are all washing our vegetables in soap water soaking them washing eggs in soap water and soaking them mm. cleaning covers before we yeah. let them into the house yeah. so those type of changes i think will stay for a certain extent uh, permanently mm. uh, there i think there'll also be a pivot into uh, you know a, a lot of cooking at home uh, in terms of ready to cook and uh, 
product changes uh, like uh, uh, mr mittal said about uh, uh, you know uh, 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 there will be a lot of noise about, around immunity what is healthy what is not but uh, the act of applying heat to the product in your house gives a sense of security to the customer you know you're going to kill any pathogen or any virus or germ that's with the food so i think that will that will see some take off in terms of how do i sell a product that the customer feels like he has heated and cooked himself but he still gets restaurant quality or store quality product Right. you know i think we will all see work work in that direction and right. people who have already set up products in that line will be will be in a advantageous uh, position but uh, about immunity and health and those sort of angles uh, i think there's going to be a lot of noise in the market on these uh, these sort of selling points you know even jhadu which are mop cleaning cloth they will also say immunity boosting hai microbial killing hai so it will be difficult to stand out uh, when everybody including the fridge manufacturer to the stuff manufacturer is talking about health and uh, immunity etc so how do we as an industry stand out right i think a, a lot of these answers are in the roots of our products you know the traditional products are designed in a certain way there are some states in the country that have traditionally used black pepper in uh, mithai uh, historically the uh, properties of jaggery etc yes. so i think at some level the mithai industry can take advantage of some of these core historical sort of trends that we have forgotten because of our uh, uh you know affinity to this increasing americanization Modern. we want to put chocolate in everything yeah. i think those things will fade away and going back to the sort of roots Root. and figuring out how the customers can kind of involve themselves in making the product itself mm-hmm. uh, will uh, take a front seat on this in terms of con- confidence building also and in terms of customers desire for mm-hmm. you know specifications of the product राइट 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 शेष आप बताइए कि जिस तरीके से ये सब चीजें चेंज होंगी जो चैतन्य ने बताया सिंस यू आर अ मल्टीपल आपके अलग अलग तरह के बिजनेस है टेक अवे से लेके और ब्रांडेड तक किस तरह की आपको पैकेजिंग में चेंजेस करने पड़ेंगे किस तरह के चेंजेस कंज्यूमर एक्सपेक्ट करेगा डिलीवरी के टाइम पे क्योंकि अभी शायद टेक अवे ज्यादा हो जाएगा अभी बहुत टाइम तक तो शायद अक्टूबर तक तो शायद फाइन डाइन और क्यू एस आर एक्टिव ही नहीं होंगे Uh, वहाँ पे कंजम्पन नहीं अलाउड uh, होगा तो टेक अवे होगा तो क्या अश्योरेंसेस हम दे सकते हैं अपने कस्टमर uh, को कि वो uh, एक एक पूरे भरोसे के साथ हमारा प्रोडक्ट खरीद सके और किस तरह की टेक्निकल चेंजेस हम ला सकते हैं पैकेजिंग के अंदर जो कि एक एक हेल्दी प्रोडक्ट हम उनको डिलीवर कर सके uh any new brand people would avoid buying so i think the first thing as a brand owner or a manufacturer we should do is uh to become very transparent in terms of how we are manufacturing our products yeah. so either we should uh, make videos of our production facility yeah. and uh, show it at the community level because even in jalandhar we have uh, jalandhar related pages uh, you know city level pages where we can show our uh, videos of the production facility that is one secondly uh, uh we can uh, uh play those videos in our showroom or maybe send it on whatsapp groups within the circles that you have so that the trust is immediately created amongst the customer that this product uh, or whatever we manufacturing is made using complete hygienic environment and keeping the keeping in mind the safety of the employees at the same time right um uh, secondly uh, i feel uh, uh the package food uh, is going to get a huge boost uh, because of fmcg uh, especially for the products like within the industry i would say namkeen chips uh, and uh, some of the bakery products like rusk and biscuits will do really well and uh, sweets as a category will take little longer to pick up it will not pick up now it will take little longer maybe i foresee at least 3 months uh, you know by the time we hit uh, uh, rakhi uh we would see some traction in the market 
but prior to that i would i don't see much of traction happening in the sweet side it will be very limited right so i think uh, this time is uh, uh, this is the time when we really need to improve our facility uh, you know uh, with the manufacturing facility and uh, give assurances to the customer that uh, if they uh, that we are manufacturing in a very uh, clean environment hmm. um at the same time i think uh, i was talking to someone in delhi uh, so dabar as a company uh, they have in the last 3 weeks uh, launched a lot of new products uh so i think uh, there's a learning that we should get as a manufacturer that we should also invest uh, our time in developing new products which we feel customers will buy right uh, of course uh, the decline of sweets can be compensated if we buy uh, if we make new products keeping in mind the trends and trends are obviously clear, very clear that uh, we want to uh, customers want to have a, a product which has no preservatives low sugar right uh, maybe if possible organic organic ingredients healthy ingredients right uh, so so there's a option uh, so we could make uh, uh, high protein cookies we can make uh, healthy bars energy bars you know with a different concept uh, right uh, maybe uh, in terms of snacking like uh, diet chips or diet snacks we could do so i think uh, we should read those trends and uh, try to develop and go back to our uh, drawing board and do these products of course uh, uh, out of 10 uh, initially uh, the packaging is very important mm-hmm. so i think the model packaging is very very much required at the same time the product has to be really good for the repeat buy right 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 uh, chatanya ek ek aur angle hai jahan pe hame uh, difficulty abhi फेस करनी पड़ रही है आई डोंट नो हाउ यू आर मैनेजिंग इफ यू कैन गिव लिटिल इनसाइट ऑन दैट लेबर जो हमारी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होती है जिसको हम ट्रेन करते हैं जो हमारे बेसिकली uh, हमारे एक्सपर्ट्स होते हैं किसी uh, हमारी जो बहुत पॉपुलर कोई प्रोडक्ट है जिसको हम बेच रहे हैं जैसे आपके यहाँ बहुत पानीपुरी या uh, आपके यहाँ वड़ा पाव इस तरह की चीजें जो आप तो इसके लिए कोई हर आम लेबर तो उसको नहीं कर सकता आपने उनको ट्रेन किया होगा टू रीच टू दिस लेवल इस तरह के लोगों को आप किस तरह से होल्ड कर पा रहे हैं या फिर आपको क्या लग रहा है कि अगर वो चले गए एक बार तो उसको कैसे वापस आना होगा ये सब रीस्टार्ट का टाइम कैसे आप लोग मैनेज करेंगे दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अगर आपने कुछ इसके ऊपर स्टडी किया होगा रोज आई थिंक दिस होल एक्सरसाइज ऑफ बैलेंस बिकॉज वी डोंट नो what our production levels will be we know that they will be extremely low that much we know hmm. right uh, so there is no way we can sustain by keeping all the same people that we had before hmm. but at the same time we don't know what the trajectory of growth will be it may be a kind of a u curve where it slowly picks up it looks unlikely now that it will be a v curve where it will immediately pick up but it may also be a sort of l curve where it remains flat for a long time mm. so it's difficult to project what the sales are hence it's difficult to project what your manpower needs will be in the medium or uh, uh, short term mm. now uh, we are also in our industry we are a little bit special in the way we treat our Uh, or in the way our relationships are with our workforce you know we in our industry i think we, it is unique that uh, we treat in we we have very long term relationships with our workforce and workers many of them have been with us for 20 25 30 years right. uh, some second, of them are second new, generation people yeah a lot in a lot of cases yeah. and uh, you know we don't treat them like labor like and any other industry would do right. uh, because uh, for us uh, we have this unique bonding experience of diwali mm. you know all uh, unlike any other industry in diwali time uh, the md and the karigar will be working shoulder to shoulder uh, uh, 48 72 hours in a row without sleeping right. so it's difficult for us to just say you know uh i need to lay off mm. so we need to figure out a mechanism where we take care of our people because they are uh, unlike other industries we are also not heavily automated we may be mechanized but we still need 
the people and the people are the backbone of this business right. so uh, right now i think the goal is also uh, to look at it from a perspective of survival mm. uh, because uh, uh, if the business doesn't survive nobody will be taken care of right if the business survives then at least some amount of people will be taken care of right and the business not only needs to survive but it also needs to thrive right. so but we don't know when the chance to thrive will come it may be in 3 months it may be in 6 months it may be in 2 months right. so we have to adapt ourselves to be in a fluid position where we will survive now and as many people as possible can survive but we should be we should quickly move into thriving mode and adaptation mode and scaling up mode when the opportunity arrives hmm. so there are no right answers to this i think you know everybody kind of uh, has their own mechanism to do it right now the way we are looking at it is uh, let's not forget that there is a global health crisis going on we tend to get stuck in our firefighting every day on what how we can operationalize or what we have to do to keep the business running but we forget that you know over 2 and a half or 2 million people are infected worldwide and some 80 90000 people have died and we are so lucky that none of them are from our organizations right so uh, as far as possible we'll try and maintain that and we'll try and maintain the goodwill that we have with our employees at the same time i don't think employees are uh, uh, you know uh, that narrow minded that they don't understand this right they know that you know a, 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 for me to survive the company has to survive for right, the company yeah. to survive we all right. have to work together right. so really uh, you know it's a this is when the partnership between uh, management and uh, workers comes to light and i i uh, i am really encouraged by the way it's taking shape as it is now mm-hmm. uh, shashab uh, let me be there on the same question uh, because uh, things are different in punjab in north india mm-hmm. thoda aur different hai aur kyunki large scale ki manufacturing mein uh, aapko uh, aur bhi bahut kuch unke liye karna padta hai i have seen uh, your hostels uh, suna hai uske bare mein aur kafi aap achhi एनवायरमेंट देते हैं थोड़ा एक्सप्लेन कीजिए कि ये कितना इंपॉर्टेंट है कि अपने लेबर को ये जो आपकी वर्कफोर्स है रादर बिकॉज टुडे इज इज अ लेबर डे तो हमें ये इसके ऊपर हमें आज क्वेश्चन रखना भी चाहिए था किस तरीके से आप उनके साथ बॉन्डिंग रख पा रहे हैं और वो बॉन्डिंग अब कितनी काम आई है एक्चुअली जो आपने पीछे जैसे चैतन्य ने बोला कि वो एक तरीके से uh, हमारी फैमिली का पार्ट बन जाते हैं और कभी कभी वो किसी को हम चाचा भी बोलते हैं किसी को क्योंकि वो हमसे एज में भी बड़े हैं और काफी एक्सपीरियंस है तो आप लोग किस तरह वो बॉन्डिंग आपको किस तरह से काम आई और क्या क्या आप कर पा रहे हैं अपने लवली ग्रुप में सो आई थिंक आई थिंक द फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट वी हैव टू कम्युनिकेट रेगुलरली विद आवर स्टाफ राइट सो वी मेड श्योर दैट वी शुड टॉक टू देम इधर थ्रू जूम और इन और इन पर्सन सो एटलीस्ट यू आर ट्राइंग टू यू नो मीट देम वंस अ वीक एंड so in the last uh, i think I remember 3 weeks back i gave them a little task so that they are occupied that at least 15 day 15 minutes a day they should do yoga yeah in their factory mm-hmm. and uh, we've given a incentive also to the top 10 people who do good poses in yoga so mm-hmm. we were giving giving them for 15 minutes of yoga we gave them 100 rupees as an incentive very good right so we did that to keep them engaged and you know uh, motivated and, uh, motivated and uh, the first two three days not many people turned up but after you know uh, five six days almost that number doubled and now every day we see more people opting to opting for that yoga just for that incentive you know and at the same time i feel they are also getting some benefit out of out of their health uh that is i feel uh, uh it's uh, it's tough time for everyone because they are also not used to uh, sitting idle uh, they also feel our pain um and uh, we've been in communication and they like we do uh, they want to help us also but they are unable to do it uh but uh, like it was mentioned earlier all of them are they all of them are talking to their families back home and uh, uh they their families are really concerned whether we as a employer are taking care of them or not you know 
so uh, so we've spoken to uh, you know uh, one or two families and assured them all their meals are taken care of you know, all the thousand people we've taken care of all their meals you know accommodation food and everything is taken care of so i think they are happy in that way uh, at least they they know that as an employer we are taking care of them right yeah. right तो थैंक यू गाइज आज का हमारा टाइम ओवर हो चुका है मैंने आप लोगों से कम टाइम मांगा था बट आई टुक लॉट ऑफ टाइम फ्रॉम योर नॉट सो बिजी बट बिजी शेड्यूल्स बिकॉज अभी भी काम तो हम लोग कहीं ना कहीं किसी ना किसी लेवल पे कर रहे हैं तो बहुत अच्छा लगा आप लोगों से मिलके और वर्किंग हार्ड और हार्डली वर्किंग जस्ट हेयर फेयर ऑफ वर्ल्ड बहुत अच्छा लगा आपसे बात करके और मुझे उम्मीद है कि हम लोग फिर इंटरेक्ट करेंगे किसी और मुद्दे पे और ये जो न्यू नॉर्मल अभी बन गया है हम लोग ये इस तरह के टॉक शोज कर रहे हैं ये न्यू नॉर्मल को हम आगे कंटिन्यू करेंगे इवन आफ्टर आवर नॉर्मल लाइफ स्टार्ट कुछ ना कुछ एक्टिविटीज इस तरह से करते रहेंगे ताकि हम लोगों को और ज्यादा अपनी इंफॉर्मेशन को दे सके और जो लोग कुछ अच्छा कर रहे हैं उनसे हम सीख के लोगों को सिखा सकें और आगे बता सकें वॉट दे आर डूइंग फिलहाल के लिए आज हमारा ये शो खत्म होता है आज का शो हमारा जो स्पॉन्सर किया था वो मिठाई एंड नमकीन टाइम्स ने किया था जो कि अपने आप में एक अकेली मैगजीन है इस सेगमेंट की और आप लोग ज्यादा से ज्यादा इस इंडस्ट्री के बारे में जानने के लिए उसको सब्सक्राइब कर सकते हैं और पढ़ सकते हैं और मुझे उम्मीद है कि आई विल बी स्टार्ट आई बी गेटिंग यू नो नाउ सम स्पॉन्सर्स फॉर आवर शो सो दैट वी कैन पुश इन मोर एक्टिविटीज एंड मोर uh uh you know efforts into it to make it more popular thank you so much guys uh, great have a nice day yeah